Welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. Today I wanted to do a quick uh, app review. And uh, if you remember about a year or so ago, I did a My Favorite App um, video. And I kind of talked about the Apple Remote app and how I utilize it to control my music library whenever I'm in my house. And so just recently, my brother-in-law actually had a couple of questions for me as, in regards to streaming audio content um, to his iPhone and also his iPad. Um, from his music collection at the house across the internet. And we came across this application, actually, he discovered it, and it's called Audio Galaxy. He turned me onto the app, and uh, I downloaded it and started playing with it. And I have to say, by far, right now, probably my favorite iOS app uh, that is available. So I've got a pretty robust music collection here in my house. Uh, I've got uh, an external um, hard drive that has, you know, quite a few, I think it's you know probably about 500 or so full albums that uh, I stream and I use the Apple remote when I'm at home to listen to it through all the different speaker zones that I have within my house. However, I'm limited to you know the music that I take with me um, anytime I leave the house and to what's on my iPhone or what's on my iPad. Well, Audio Galaxy kind of solves that problem. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of a screen capture at the end of this video, but I wanted to demonstrate the app and how it works. So as you can see here, uh, on our um, iPad, we have the Audio Galaxy app. So if we load that up, um, you'll see it's it's kind of a very basic app. It uh, it looks a little bit like a playlist. Here's your you know your settings uh, for it. You can create an account um, on AudioGalaxy.com, or you can actually log in using your Facebook account, and then you can do like the whole social networking thing. Um, and very simply, what happens is there's a piece of software that you'll download on the Audio Galaxy website. You'll you install that either on your Mac or your PC that has your music collection on it. And then you'll take that software and you'll point it to the directories where you have your music um, stored, you know, on your C drive, D drive, external E drive, whatever the case may be is. The software will then catalog all of that music and store it out on the website, the Audio Galaxy website. It doesn't upload the music, but what it does is it catalogs all of the songs and makes it available and does the configuration through the, uh, uh, the, the software and gives you access to your entire music list. So as you can see here, I'm scrolling. These are, I'm listing by artists. I can also list by album. And as you see, it, it actually will display album cover as well. It takes a little bit of, you know, it takes a minute because it is streaming it across the internet because the software does all the work to translate and to point through your firewall and, and give you access to the to the music collection that's locally on your um, on your system. So basically, what I do now is I can stream this over 3G, 4G, um, you know, whatever wireless carrier you have and whatever their network is, you can stream that music and you can also do it over Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm on Wi-Fi right now, obviously with my iPad and I'll show you the, the 3G. So let me scroll through. So right now my favorite artist is, is probably out of sight and I can very simply just select the out of sight music. And again, this is not on my local computer. Uh, I mean, on my local device here. It's actually on my computer that's in my office in the other room. I can hit the, the play button and a, a very, let me turn this down a little bit, a very iPod-esque looking application that comes on and I'm actually streaming this music from uh, my computer in the other uh, in the other room across my Wi-Fi. However, it is going out across the internet. I can, um, you know, it's got different play modes that I can uh, I can select. I got repeat, I got um, genie mode, which is kind of their answer to the, to the um, the genius on um, when you're using iTunes to find music that you like. I can Facebook a, a song, I can like a song, and of course I can um, tweet a song. And I also, just like the Apple Remote app, I can open this up, and if I have multiple speakers within my environment, like I see here, I have my iPad and then I have my Express Master, I have an Airport Express upstairs in my master bedroom hooked up to a stereo, I can stream that to one of those devices. At any point in time, I can go back, I can look through my entire list, and play any of my music just by clicking it. Very simple. So uh, th that's what it looks like on on the i uh, on the iPad over Wi-Fi. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to put my iPhone down here. I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi and my on my iPhone. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll disable Wi-Fi. Okay. So I no longer have Wi-Fi running, and I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Audio Galaxy app. And so now it's going to be streaming. I've got three bars of AT&T right now. So here's, here's my artists. So if I scroll down and, uh, you know, just, I don't even know what I clicked on there. Oops, I don't know what I clicked. So if I just randomly click on uh, Coldplay and I click on the album and let's see what, let's play Viva La Vida. Takes a minute, streams it across the 3G, and there you go. So now I'm streaming this over my AT&T 3G connection. And I have my entire music library available to me. 
and um, you know I can create a playlist I can uh, set favorites I've got a playlist here of music that I've listened to recently um, you know I can go back at any point in time there are some settings in here um, the one setting is high quality audio and I actually as you can see I have it turned on and so far I've had no major issues with uh, you know bad audio or clicks or hesitations or anything in, oh, over the 3G. Um, I actually went into DC yesterday uh, for work and I was using this while I was on the, the metro and I was commuting through the town and I was streaming my music collection from my house. So this is a great app. Right now it is free. Um, they claim eventually they may charge for it. Don't know what the charging, you know, what, what their fees may be. But as you can see, I've got my entire music selection here. I've got every one of my artists. Um, it doesn't give me a total count. Uh, maybe it does, I don't know. But this is my entire music collection uh, available to, to, to me streaming across the internet. And I, I absolutely love that. It's, it's probably one of the best finds. And I have to thank my brother-in-law, Matt, for finding this because I was looking for similar solutions. And this is very simple. So um, stay tuned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, do a screen capture and append this video. Um, this walkthrough video that I'm showing you right now with what the software looks like on your computer. The other thing too is when the, when the, once it's up and running um, and it, it's streaming, you can log into audiogalaxy.com from anywhere uh, on the internet and stream your music collection. So let's say you go over to a friend's house and you want to play DJ or whatever and they've got a decent sound system hooked up to their computer or whatever the case may be is, then you have access to do that. You just log into your Audio Galaxy account and you can use the web to stream your music across uh, across the internet to wherever you are. So audiogalaxy.com, I love it. Go out and check them out. Um, if you've got a music collection and you want to be able to have the entire selection available to you, uh, it's great. One of the things my wife loves about this is she has a music collection on her Mac and then I have our, our house music collection. We, I set up a, a generic account for both of us to use for the main house collection and then the music that she has on her Mac, she uses the Facebook login on there and she can stream that. And the cool part is, you know, both of the cars have Bluetooth um, ready stereos. So you can, if you have that capability in your car, you can sync your phone with your stereo and then stream the music across the internet using your 3G and then sync that up with your stereo and stream it through your car stereo and have your entire music collection wherever you go. So some pretty cool capability, um, lots of really cool functionality um, with the Audio Galaxy app. So I'm going to cut this short. Um, I've been talking for about seven minutes now. I want to do a screen capture and let you see exactly what, uh, what the software looks like and how to uh, access that software. And um, there you go. So I am going to end this video with, where are we at? A little Look At Me Now by Carmen. So anyways, as always, follow me on uh, Twitter, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses, Facebook, facebook.com slash uh, geekwithglasses. Like, subscribe, comment on the video. Um, the more traffic I get, the better. And uh, stay tuned for uh, a quick walkthrough that I will do so that you can take a look at what the software looks like on your computer. Um, uh, okay, so here we are. We're taking a look at the Audio Galaxy website. And as you can see, it's currently under beta. I'm assuming once they come out of beta is when they may potentially start charging for the use um, of the app. And uh, at that point in time, you know, you'll have to pay for the service. But right now it is free. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. But uh, what we're looking at right now is, is the web page. So this is my music collection that we talked about a little bit earlier. So I don't actually have my entire music collection hooked up to my Mac. It is actually on an external hard drive that's plugged into a Windows laptop that I have on the other side of my office. And that is where I'm doing all of the sharing, where it's cataloging all of my music off of that hard drive. And again, just to reiterate, you're not uploading your, soft or uploading your music to the website. The website is just cataloging your music off of your hard drive and streaming it over the internet. So... Um, if you're on the other machine, you would hit the settings button here and it would give you an option for pointing to whatever directory that you have the music in and then it'll go out there and stream it. What you're looking at right now is just the web interface. It looks exactly the same once it goes out in catalogs. As you can see up here, it's cataloged uh, you know, just under, you know, just over 6,500 songs. We can do the same thing, sort by album. We can sort by playlist. This is where you can create your playlist as well. So if you, you, know, if you want to create a, a genre playlist of you know, your favorite hip hop songs or your favorite rock songs or you know, chill music, whatever the case may be, you can create these playlists. And these playlists do sync to the mobile app, you know, the audio device app for your iOS device. 
So once you create a playlist, you have access to that no matter what device you're using, as well as on the uh, on the internet. And we also have a, a genre sorting field. And again, this is available on the mobile device. I just didn't show it um, earlier in the video. And then uh, you have a friends tab. So the friends tab only works if you log into the Audio Galaxy uh, website using Facebook, which on this account I have not. This is a master account for my entire music collection, and then my wife has her music that she wants to stream, and then I have specific music that I want to stream. So those we have connected with Facebook. So you would connect your Audio Galaxy with your Facebook account, and then you could share, and you can you know you can add friends. So you could have you know if your buddy has Audio Galaxy, you can see what each other's listening to. Um, I'm not sure whether or not you can actually share your content with friends via Facebook. That's something that I'll look into and maybe I'll do a subsequent review um, on that. But uh, this is basically it. So if we come back here and you know we were to scroll down and uh, randomly pick somebody. So uh, let's come in here and um, let's pick Marc Broussard, another little known artist who, who does some amazing music. And we basically, uh, you know, we hit the play button, bam, there we go. It's uh, playing the music. I've got my headphones on so you can't hear it. But uh, it is playing the music, and you know I can heart the song, I can Facebook the song, and tweet the song. Gives me the information about the audio track that I'm listening to, and then uh, again you've got infinity mode where you know you can turn on the genie, or you can turn it on random, or you can do skipping, and then it's creating a playlist of you know the music that you want. You can obviously click it and remove it, or you can add another song, and this is creating kind of a to-do list. Like right now, it's playing rock. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> rock is the uh, is the um, the genre, but it's playing home right now, and then, or actually, it's playing Wanderer because I double clicked on it. But it, it creates a list, and then you can move this list around for you know the play series um, via the web, and it, it works very similar. But uh, this is what the software looks like. Go check it out, AudioGalaxy.com. If you've got a large music collection, you want to be able to have access to that anywhere you go using your uh, iOS device as well as your Android. By the way, I forgot to say that it does, it is supported by Android phones, so you can also download uh, the Audio Galaxy app on Android. Install the software on your, your Mac or your PC. Tell the software where your music files are. Uh, by default, it's going to search your entire system and it's going to it's going to catalog all kinds of music files that you're not going to want to necessarily, you don't want to stream your startup you know, WAV file for Windows. So you want to basically kind of get rid of those default settings, point it to your directory structure. You know, if you're using iTunes um, for your music, you're going to point it to the iTunes music folder. If you're using, you know, another, P personally, I download all of my music into, um, on an external drive that I have you know, a, a folder called music, and then underneath there I've got my artists and then the albums and then the music file. So I just point it to that music folder and let it do all the cataloging. So I've got 300 artists, um, I've got 200, uh, 502 albums, and 6,589 songs. And I have all of these accessed, you know, accessible anywhere I go with my iOS or Android device. So check it out, audiogalaxy.com. Just wanted to share. I think this is a great service. I love it. Um, the app is amazing, and they're doing some really cool stuff. So check them out and uh, give, show them some love. And as always, like I said earlier, like me, subscribe me, um, send me some comments, let me know what you think, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.